uh, when, when I start looking at the opening. But uh, all these, the, the context of this C minor, and of course we look at um, um, the, 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 the other works, uh, there's uh, uh, Mozart again. <laughs> Uh, the C minor uh, concerto, which the piano starts. And obviously, it, um, this also 491, uh, this was again, it, it was a pivotal work in Mozart's long Viennese career. It, it, it almost alienated some audiences. It, it was something of a controversial work. Um, and it do, I'm sure there are many other pieces that are not necessarily in C minor, which are equally um, pivotal. But I, I like to play with these ideas. And here, uh, Beethoven has his first C minor uh, work. This So let's first rewind a little and look at the very first chord. We had many openings so far, anything from to and then we also had and then the last one, the number four, we did have a slightly richer texture of but nothing that that quite equates to what we have here at this the, the, the most thickest chord we have seven notes all together at the same time so this is quite a shocking opening that we haven't had so far and of course that's followed by another one that's very powerful and when it comes back again what we hear is which is actually exactly the same as the opening of Now again, how relevant that is. We can make it quite relevant or not specifically. I think it's quite good to feel that grave, the, the big sound that we have here. Although when it comes back in, it has a little bit more of an edge. It has a little bit more of a kick, but the color is essentially the same. So we translate that back to the opening, fairly powerful. So again, not only do we need to feel the, the weight into the palms, but I would actually employ, employ a little bit of that, the, the grasp and release that I referred to quite a bit, uh, maybe in the, the number one as well as number four. So it's not just playing in, even putting more weight into it doesn't quite get that the right shocking sound. So we do need a little bit to infuse that speed of touch into the color. And so we, as usual, we breathe in and as we breathe out, we get that sound just at that right timing. Everything has to happen with intent. Um, and then we talked a little bit about that climbing. Now, um, as I mentioned, particularly since this is in C minor, if I were to explore more of that heroic side of Beethoven. And here we also have the fearsome side, the, the huge conflict between the two. We all fear on some level. He must have feared fate, particularly later on as his hearing goes. And he's, he's always known to be a frustrated my, man. So he's n things don't necessarily go his way. He can feel fear, and that humanity uh, shows here as well. It's a complete contrast from this upward Mannheim rocket. We have, we have the sigh mo motive quite clearly dis displayed as the response. And so all that four bar phrase makes up the first, um, the first mini phrase, the micro phrase. So we have the Mannheim rocket, but then the, the sigh motive. Quite a contrast straight away. It could almost...